Actually, my interest in Bing Crosby started with the estate who I had been working with uh, on my last film, which was on Mel Brooks. In talking to the gentleman who runs the estate, he began to tell me of the wealth of material that they had for Bing Crosby. They had literally thousands of Dictabelt recordings he had made. They had endless photos. So there was an enormous wealth of material that the public had never seen. This is the one film that I've made that really surprised me about the subject. I had no idea of his risk-taking with new technologies, the really sad circumstances of his first family and their lives. There's been a lot of misinformation put out there, and luckily the family and the estate were completely receptive to having this be the corrective and definitive take on his life. It's a fine balancing line this time because the public, in a sense, had turned against him since uh, his first son wrote a sort of tell-all memoir. Some of it was brought into question, and the public latched on to the negativity of it, with very few people actually reading the book. And so approaching this, uh, I think people had collectively forgotten how much he influenced music, the recording industry, the radio industry, uh, and what a massive star he was for so many decades. The challenge here was to show the public why he was a superstar that he was. Bing is so uh, modest, he's so self-deprecating in some of the interviews that it almost works against him because he is uh, basically trying to tell you that he did nothing, he just showed up and you know, he knocked it out, and, and he's just being modest. There's no way he didn't go to a week or two of rehearsals. And as people say in the film, you know, he really did work hard at his craft. He just didn't want anyone to see the work, and it, it's how it is. And the performances, they do look fresh and like he just casually tossed them off, which is part of his charm. My background uh, for documentary work uh, includes films on uh, Cary Grant and George Cuke or uh, Mel Brooks. Uh, Gene Kelly and Irving Thalberg, among other people. This is my wheelhouse, obviously. Uh, I was born and raised in Los Angeles. It's what I've always been around. In the case of Bing, um, I have to admit, I wasn't a huge fan, but the story, the more I found out about him, the more intriguing it became. And I realized that with the family's permission and the estate, chipping in that I could tell the story honestly for the first time. It has been done in books, uh, but it had never been really done to this level in a documentary before. Most of the documentaries that have been done in the past have been tribute documentaries. This uh, American Masters film is able to delve a little deeper.